So I'll start with by introducing myself. My name is Rachel Richardson. I work here at the Ocean Cleanup. Um, the reason I'm interviewing you today is you were actually one of the first ambassadors of the Ocean Cleanup. So first of all, congratulations Thank on this you. honor. Um, I'm actually curious, how did you hear about the Ocean Cleanup? I heard about you guys in 2018. I was scrolling through CNN and um, it was literally, I think the caption was like, 25 year old scientist cleaning up the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Um, and I, I immediately I was like, what is this? Um, <laughs> and then I started looking into it and started reading about what you guys were doing. Um, and then you guys were ready, were getting ready to launch your first um, ship. Uh, and then I just sort of like, I, I felt like, a lot of people didn't know about it and it wasn't, you know, it definitely wasn't a mainstream news. It was like a small article uh, on CNN. So I was like, this is crazy. How is no one talking about this? Um, so I just made like a bunch of posts from your website and, and your Instagram and um, like the entire science of how the plastic is scooped up and, and um, you guys are getting ready to launch from, um, from San Francisco and the ship was gorgeous and the whole, organization seemed so cool and and obviously you know with, with Boyan being so young um I think we're literally the same age so it was sort of it was just amazing to see someone so young um try to accomplish something so great and he obviously did um so back in 2018 I was like how does no one know about this and then you know slowly you guys started launching your um your whole mission uh and it's crazy to see it come into full fruition now, um, only two years later. Uh, and now, you know, you guys aren't only just cleaning up the, the, the Pacific patch, you guys are now in four major rivers and I know you're only expanding. So it's, um, it was just something that I read about and it blew my mind. Um, and you know, it's obviously you guys are surpassing all expectations. So it's, it's just crazy. Well, it was very cool. You sound quite knowledgeable, which is also very cool. Because in 2018, we did launch System 1, which was our first cleanup system meant yeah. to start uh, to go into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And since then, we relaunched System 1B. And then, as you saw, we launched our river cleanup system in October of last year. Um, and that's to stop plastic before entering the ocean, because our approach is twofold. As you know, there's the you know, cleaning up what's out in the patch and then stopping it from getting there. Um, yeah, and so right, right now, what we're doing, our, our kind of big event that's coming up tomorrow, full circle, I'm wearing the t-shirt, um, is we'll launch our first product made of plastic from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And that's where you come in as an ambassador. Have you received it already? I, I have not only received it, but I literally just uh, got the photo that I'm going to be um, promoting uh i did a photo shoot for the magazine that we're talking about mm -hmm. and um this just came in it's gonna be weird but oh it's amazing i love it aren't they such amazing sunglasses yeah it's it's, it's, it's like this photo is crazy because it's all different shades of blue and and it's exactly what i think you guys were trying to do with the with the product to show like all the different nuances of the ocean yeah, yeah. Um, it, it really is crazy looking at it and seeing like the little streaks mm -hmm. of, of it. I mean, it looks like waves. Um, it's, uh, yeah, exa it's exactly what you said. They look really cool and you can wear yeah. them out and it's like, you know, it's a classic shape. They feel really nice in your hand and I'm just obsessed with that color. It's like a, it's really, yeah. really captured the, the color of the ocean. It's pretty it incredible. Yeah, you've described it perfectly because that's exactly what we went for when we, so the plastic that we brought back, it's it's a unique plastic in that it's all the way out in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and we brought it back here. And so it's, we, we really wanted to evoke the idea of the ocean. So you've just described it exactly how our website's going to say tomorrow. So again, you're very on brand and it's perfect. And, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of uh, enamored with this company. You guys are, are, are truly um, trailblazers and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's it's pretty much like it's 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 definitely a relief to find companies like this um, because you know there's so much work to do and I find a lot of times a lot of companies they they talk a lot but they but they don't 
so much have a lot of action behind it. Um, so it's amazing to see you guys are totally backing everything up. It's 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 un it's unbelievable. This what you've just said actually leads to a question I had that I was maybe that's part of the answer is I think as a a public figure um, I, there it seems like there's always a lot of weight in what causes people align with um, so I'm curious uh, did you do you feel a certain responsibility to stand behind certain causes and if so why did you choose the ocean cleanup Yes I think there's there's a massive responsibility um, for me personally. Um, the climate has sort of been my my everything since probably since 2016. That's when I really hit it hard and sort of dedicated my whole um, I would say platform and voice to um, to try to fight for it. Um, so you know when you hear about companies like you guys, uh, it just makes in a way it makes my life easier the fact that i can you know i could back a company like this and i could promote a company like this because you guys are actually doing something unbelievable and um i i strongly urge people to find out about companies like this uh, specifically you guys because i think more than ever this is a time for solution and and action um, and that's exactly what you guys are about. You guys are literally out there already doing it. Um, and literally tomorrow you have a product that's coming from, um, from your, um, from your, uh, from your mission. Um, so I, I always, you know, I'm always looking for companies that are, are really pushing the boundary. Um, because it, Aside from being, you know, a public figure or whatever you want to call it, it, it makes me as a human being relieved, and it makes me as a human being um, excited to know that there are companies like you guys, uh, because you know we're we need as much help as possible, um, and and it needs to be the entire world. You know, it, it. I don't think it. I think there's a misconception that like you know America has to lead the way or or Europe has to lead the way or Asia has to lead the way it's I think we we all need to um come together right now definitely more than ever um especially regarding the planet um so you know I'm always really excited um about stuff like this and uh it's 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 a bit of a relief that there are these steps being taken right literally right now yeah, I um I think one thing I was reading you're you're very big on um, repurposed fashion or uh, vintage or you know I, I'm curious um, from you know now we have sunglasses are there other ways uh, that's actually not how I was going to phrase my question I have it better phrased um, wearing a vintage Big Sur shirt right now. See, I love it. I'm I'm all for vintage. There's so many, especially Texas and in California. I think you have a lot of great like, yeah, thrift stores and stuff like that. So I, I love the idea of repurposing it. And I'm curious, um, do you think it's important to reuse materials? So the sunglasses, you know, are made from just basically trash. You know, you're wearing a shirt from a thrift store. Do you think? I mean, what kind of value do you see in repurposing materials or clothes or anything? Um, I think it's very simple. I think it just puts less strain on the system and, and the planet, um, you know, reusing products that have already been made, especially products that were made, you know, decades ago. It, it just, it just helps alleviate the pressure on, you know, how much, um, how much strain is being put on the planet with the, with the, um, with the fashion industry. I think if if I'm not mistaken, I think it's literally like number three or number four in the in the largest um, polluters in the planet. Uh, and you know, it's whether it's dyes being dumped into rivers and oceans, or or how much water a simple T-shirt uses up. Um, it's and it goes way beyond that. Um, it's so the most the more we can reuse, the the more we can recycle. I think just it, it's just i think it simply just puts less strain on the entire system um especially the planet uh and you know not for nothing <laughs> vintage clothes are 
super cool. They look really cool. They, I don't think they they ever go out of style if, if they could last this long. Um, and you know, th there's a company I work with. Um, their their name is um is Marine Layer, and they literally reuse T-shirts and then make them into brand new T-shirts. So it's sort of like a reuse vintage recycled new t-shirt um and it's 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 amazing and the fact that you know a small company like that can do it um there's no reason that giant companies like you know whether it be zara or h&m or uh or gap can do the same you know if, if the technology is available for smaller companies with less money um i think everyone could sort of follow their footsteps um and yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, I think it's really important. Yeah, it, it's one thing I've, I've found to be so crazy of some of the catch they bring back as you see sandals or, you know, flip flops and it's a, uh, yeah, disposable, disposable fashion is. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I do a beach cleanup almost every single Friday and I can't tell you, and it's, it's really mind boggling. I can't tell you how many flip flops I find on the beach. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's very confusing. This actually leads to another question I wrote down, which was, um, so other than supporting the ocean cleanup and you know, doing beach cleanups, what are other ways that I think you promote and help uh, clean our oceans? I think it's, and this is a, this is a great question because it's a question that a, lo a, lot of, a lot of people that follow me and a lot of people that are, are supportive of me ask, and they're like, what could we do? You know, what could we do as just like, normal citizens or you know a lot of them are younger a lot of them are are not even in high school and and the big question is what can we do to help personally you know whether whether it's donating or or etc um and i think the biggest thing is just reducing your personal carbon footprint and try to uh inspire people around you to do the same um whether it's your friends or your family you know i i've obviously taken the extreme measures, you know, I, I drive a hydrogen car. I, I, my house is strictly run on solar panels. Um, almost everything is, is vegan or, or recycled or reused. And it's just trying to put as much, um, it's just trying to alleviate as much strain on the planet and obviously the ocean. Um, and, uh, and, and then, you know, the big thing is if you can just supporting companies financially, um, uh, you know, a lot of these companies are obviously, most of them are nonprofit. Um, a lot of, a lot of the money strictly goes back into making sure that the company can run and, and continue, uh, it's, it's mission. And, you know, if you're able to do that, that's fantastic. Um, and then I think the biggest thing, and, you know, it's uh, at least personally being in America, we're 11 days away from probably the most important election um, in American history. Uh, vote for people that care about the planet, vote for people that care about the ocean, vote for people that are gonna protect the ocean. Um, because, you know, I think the, the ultimate change will happen when the government starts helping. Um, and I think that's sort of the, the sad, simple truth, but we have an opportunity to change that. And, um, I think there is an opportunity to uh, start helping out the planet more than we've ever have uh, with this with this election coming up. So I, I, there's there's definitely a bunch you could do. Yeah, where where did you start? You know, you said you read an article of the Ocean Cleanup, but I'm sure the, you know your you know drive for this sort of change has you know definitely preceded that. So I'm curious where for you you personally started on this. You know, because there's so many ways you can approach it, you know, reducing single use plastic, donating to causes. I'm curious what kind of opened up the floodgates for you, no pun intended. Well, initially, everything, everything uh, started in 2012. I lived in New York and um, I lost everything to Hurricane Sandy. So I, I literally have a first hand experience um, with how um destructive um that mother nature could be uh and 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 uh what a natural disaster looks and feels like um literally my house my neighborhood gone you know literally underwater um 
so for me that sort of put everything into perspective of like oh the planet is actually really sick um and you know it's it's sort of a weird coincidence that my experience was with the ocean you know and um instead of being angry at the ocean i wanted to nurture it um and i wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen to anybody else um, and then in 2016, I watched Leonardo DiCaprio's documentary. It's called Before the Flood on Nat Geo. And the fact that one of my pretty much heroes dedicates his whole other life to fighting for the planet, I think that blew me away because I didn't know that, first of all, and I didn't know that someone of that stature um, would even care. Um, and, you know, he's dedicated his life to it since I think he was 21 years old. Um, and that was the ultimate wake up call of like, OK, I, I actually have some um, I could potentially have some power here, uh, you know, with having this sort of platform and being a public figure and, and having a voice with with a with a large audience. You know, it's it's a powerful tool to use. Um, so whether it was, you know, immediately starting off with working with companies, uh, amplifying their causes, um, amplifying products, um, uh, amplifying, uh, a lifestyle, um, it, it's, that's sort of been my MO since 2016. Um, and it's, it's amazing now that, you know, the platform is only growing and, um, I'm able to have more exposure, um, and, and knock on wood working with some unbelievable companies now so i think i think just keep on i think just staying on that um on that road you know and um hopefully one day you know i'm speaking at the un with mark ruffalo and leonardo dicaprio um so it's it's yeah it's just sort of sticking to the mission and and um just continuing the path that we're all on and and hopefully leads to you know a, a healthy planet that's the ultimate goal indeed and i like you know for us it's um you know boyan started off doing this when he was and he presented his idea when he was 18 and then you know started the ocean cleanup when he was 19 and it's been you know worked up it was crowdfunding that you know gave him the notoriety to start the organization but it it does take just you know one person i think taking that sort of initiative that first step you know kind of like you did seeing a documentary or something and yeah. This kind of leads to a next question because you were talking about, you know, it's bigger than the U.S. It's it's a global thing and that's something we totally agree with too. This is, you know, the, the garbage patches are kind of in a no man's land. Most people, exactly. there's really been any responsibility for it. So the way that, you know, we bring awareness of it and awareness of our cause. And I'm kind of curious how you would pitch the ocean cleanup to someone, someone around you. Um, you know, what is the organization to you and how would you tell it to other people? I've been pitching it to people <laughs> forever. Uh, it's the, the way I look at it is a, first of all, a sustainable way of ridding the largest um, concentrated area of plastic in the world. I think first and foremost, that is an incredible feat. I think a lot of people don't even know about the great Pacific garbage, uh, garbage patch. And, and when you explain, Plain to someone that it's twice the size of Texas and three times the size of France, I think that really puts things into perspective of what that actually looks like and how much actual garbage is just floating out there and deteriorating and just constantly polluting, whether it's the ocean or the air or the animals. Um, and the fact that you guys are able to sustainably and and um, efficiently take that plastic out of the ocean recycle it reuse it and now for the first time ever turn it into products that you can hold and wear and use i think every single person that i have told that to are sold they're like where do i sign up um how do how do we not know about this company um and then you know and then to take it a step further now that you guys have interceptors and in major rivers i think that's another gigantic um 
uh, accomplishment. And, and you know, that, that's another thing. People don't know how truly polluted our rivers are. And I, I believe you guys said if we have an interceptor in 1,100 rivers, we can actually rid the, all the major rivers of plastic. So it, the, the fact that like there are numbers that um, we can chase and, and, and slowly start um, achieving, that's, that's for me what keeps me going. You know, it's not sort of this like impossible mission of like maybe, you know, in 200 years we'll accomplish it. It's like we're trying to do it in the next like decade or two. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that for me keeps me going, keeps me motivating, keeps me um, ambitious. And it keeps people that I speak to about this um, motivated and, and uh, honestly surprised that there, that there is even this kind of progress being made. Um, because I think a lot of the time people seem to focus about the negative and it's some, sometimes hard to, uh, it sometimes gets overlooked by actual um, all the positives and solutions that are happening in the world right now. So I think you guys are a major leader in, in, that, in that realm. Yeah, I couldn't think of a better ambassador. You say it perfectly. And um, yeah, the 1,000 rivers, our research has shown there's a 1,000 rivers and we want to tackle those because if we don't stop the plastic from going in there, then it's just a continuous tap. And um, yeah, it's all of what we're doing is ambitious. It's, it's a huge goal. Ridding the world's oceans of plastic is, um, it, it takes a lot of, yeah, it's a moonshot idea. And I think it's, it's really cool that you stand behind it. Um, I guess I, yeah, thank you so much for you. helping you. your voice to spread this. It's a, it is an important mission and the more people behind it, the closer we can get to cleaner oceans. Um, I thought before we ended, I had a couple of somewhat fun questions. Okay. Um, you're a guy in movies and so I thought I would do a, you have to pick between two ocean themed movies. So I have three thoughts. Because you talk about your favorite actors, you're an actor, so you must, you must know of them. So my first one was, uh, if you had to choose between Jaws or Deep Blue Sea. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's hard because Jaws villainizes sharks and, and, <laughs> and there's- it's so quotable. It's so quotable. I, I mean, I think just because it's a classic Jaws and Spielberg is the man. Um, yeah. But my, my only my only thing with it is it makes it makes sharks look like bad guys and, and they're just misunderstood. Yeah. Well, then this leads to the next one that, you know, might help settle that is uh, uh, Finding Nemo or The Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for me personally, because of, of, of when I grew up, I think Finding Nemo is much more... Uh, relevant and much more um recent in my head i know little mermaid is a classic and i saw it as a kid on, on cassette uh but I, I just love finding nemo um it's so special and i think it even talks about there's little parts in the film talks about plastic pollution and and um you, you know they show like plastic floating around and they sort of talk about the issue in a in a, in a very um friendly way uh, so i think finding nemo that's a good choice. And then my last one is uh, Free Willy or Flipper? Ooh, uh, I don't believe I've seen Flipper, uh, but I've seen Free Willy, so, so Free Willy. That's it. Actually, I don't even know if I remember seeing Flipper, but I just remember that's a movie with the dolphins, so I was like, yeah. everybody must know Flipper. <laughs> That was it. Those were all of my questions. So do you have anything else you wanted to add? I know this isn't, you know, supposed to be your interview. So anything you want to say uh, to add? No, I mean, you know, I, I, as you can tell, I could talk about this kind of stuff forever. Um, it's something that I'm just all, all in on and, 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 and pretty obsessed with I, because, you know, I think it's, I think we're facing um, the most crucial um, time in our life as humans uh, and and I think it's the most crucial uh, issue that we have to face uh, in order for us to have a sustainable future um, so again I just I can't thank you guys enough I, I, I still sort of can't believe it happened um, 
and and it's definitely a huge pinch me moment i still sort of look at the email and i'm like how did this happen you know when it was sort of just like this innocent post that i made in 2018 i was like this is a cool company i'll i will never hear from this again um so it's just a it's a crazy full circle um and uh i really admire what you guys are doing so so thank you very much yeah and thank you so much it's uh it it means a lot to have people help spread our mission and um we really appreciate your voice behind it so thank you for all you're doing as well